Hey everyone, here we are back in Alaska. We're at the town of Nome and um, we're flying to a place called Solomon State Field, which is just along the coast heading, uh, heading east. So without any further ado, let's get in the air. Love this plane, just straight up in the air. Gear and flaps up immediately, no messing about. Straight into our turn onto uh, towards Solomon State Field. We'll hug the close the coast a bit more this time rather than um, take the inland route unless we see something really interesting. Actually those mountains could be interesting. The coast just looks like flat um, I was gonna say tundra but there's quite a few trees down there by the look of it. I'm gonna have to fix this sun. Impressive though it is reflection on the wing. Um, it's, um, Spoiling our view of the scenery a bit. It's better. Definitely looking more populated than uh, when we crossed um, the Bering Straits and landed at Wales. Interesting parallel rivers there, what is that about? Just in front of the nose. Is that natural? It doesn't even seem to be following the, the terrain relief. The nice thing about living here is there's just no shortage of space. Take up as much space as you want, park where you want. So to me it looks grassier down below um, than, uh, than tundra-y, maybe it's a mix. I'm 
actually on the 4K monitor at the moment, so this is a, should be a 4K video. I normally use a, a 1440 pixel uh, monitor, which gives me better FPS. In fact, if we were in a city with this monitor, you'd probably notice an FPS drop. Although, hang on, I, the last flight I did was in Edin Edmonton, Canada with this, and um, it seemed all right. Last time I used this monitor was back in August, September, when the game had just released. Maybe they've made performance improvements since then. But this looks good on 4K. I'd had a few drinks this evening before I did the Edmonton video, um, so perhaps I was, or I'm still a bit more verbal than normally. And the beauty of flight simming, there is no 24 hours bottle to throttle rule. Test your skills after six pints. That is stunning. Contrasting colours. The ponds, the, the winding rivers. Really. We really do have a beautiful planet. On my local Facebook group, someone was posting that there's talk of expanding Southampton Airport, my local airport, so larger aircraft can land and park there. Although I have proven in another video that you can take off and land the 747 there, there would absolutely be nowhere to park it. Anyway, the Facebook post was to encourage people to sign a petition opposing it, talking about um, you know climate change and things. Aviation's contribution, um, which is a serious concern, but most of the people who actually commented said, oh, I'd love a, a bigger airport closer and not have to go up to London Heathrow every time to fly everywhere. Um, where can I sign the petition to support this? And the poor person who posted the, made the original post was answering, saying, um, talking about um, emissions increases and things, and I, I felt sorry for him really. Um, it's very true, aviation is about 5% I think, but on the other hand I do love aviation, and um, I do think that travel broadens the mind, and it's a good thing that people are able to travel and see the world, and uh, appreciate it. Electric aircraft um, hopefully will uh, become more common, and uh, that's my rationalization anyway, and I'm sticking with it. So I haven't signed either petition, but I wouldn't quite like it if Southampton Airport was made bigger.
having said that about travel broadening the mind a uh, probably 10 day club 18 to 13 trip to Ibiza probably doesn't really broaden the mind for those who go a lot of fun but, um, I'll have to concede that Drier, this green, more tundra-y. It's hard to know whether the change is because of the different time of year the uh, photo was taken or, uh, or if it's actually different soil, different geology, slightly different climate here. And there's our airport, which I have no way. So we'll just glide in from here. I'll become a vegetarian to save the planet if needed, but I won't give up flying. Is that a runway or is that just a road next to the runway? I think it's a little airstrip. I think it's um, I think I'm coming in wrong. Is it? What is it? I just thought it looked like a strip running um, kind of seven o'clock to two o'clock. I don't know what it is now. Field. Maybe it's just a field to the left. that field there. So just ditch the excess speed by turning the opposite way. I should be able to get the flaps down.
Okay, throttle to idle. And some funny little buildings on the left there coming up. What is that about? They look too small to be anything. Oops, bump. What the hell are they? I'm gonna get a closer look at these. Ah. Oh, that is cool. And there's a guy. What about that? Awesome. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll catch you all on the next flight.